Hey, Joshua, how's it going? Good. How about you? Oh, not too bad. Thanks for joining us today. What's it been like these uh, last few days getting all the praise about that, that catch and sports center and everything? What, what's it been like, you know, in, in your shoes these last few days? Um, well, naturally, you know, uh, of course, when somebody's complimenting you, it's, it feels good. But uh, the last couple of days, coach has been telling us, don't eat the cheese, stay focused. So uh, I've just been trying to stay humble and stay focused on the next opponent. Can can you run me through that that play? Just kind of what what you saw, what was the call, and then how, how did you how did you execute it? Well, um, what I saw is I came to the line, and um, as I was lining up, he came to press me, and um, when I saw that, I knew uh, what I had. So off the line. He, he kind of backpedaled a little bit and then opened up and gave me the outside. So I just took the outside, stacked, and then just located the ball. When you made the catch and afterwards, what, what were just what were you thinking? Um, when I made the catch, I, I was just trying to make a play, trying to win the game. And then afterwards, you know, just celebrate with the team. Okay, Greg, you're up. How you doing, Josh? I'm good. How about you? I'm good. I'm good. How did you How did you feel about your play overall in that game? Just aside from that catch and what you brought to the team. Um, overall, I believe I did okay. I would give myself maybe a, a C plus. Um, I believe I could have could have gave gave more effort. Um, when I didn't have the ball in my hand, uh, I believe I could have made more blocks than I did. What are sort of your standout traits or, or the areas that you think you bring to the team where you where you excel? Um, I believe I believe that I can I have the ability to pick up others. Um, not also not not only pick them up, but get on them when they need it. You mentioned blocking, you know, how much is that like a point of emphasis for you guys? It seemed that you guys did pretty well in that regard in the opener, too is blocking is huge. Um, they say in the coaches say in the meetings, running the football is not just uh, running the football and ball security is not just protecting the ball. It's also blocking. So how do you feel like you performed in that regard? Is that tough for you or does that come naturally to you? What's it been like it, for you learning to do that? I believe it, I believe it comes uh, natural. Mostly uh, you just got to want to block. If you want to block, I believe you, you, you'll be able to do it. What are the biggest differences that you see in yourself from last year to this year? How have you kind of developed as a player? I feel like I've developed as a player um, more mentally, not physically. Uh, I feel like I'm smarter, smarter than last year. And then on top of experience, I'm more relaxed. So I feel like that's, that's why I'm better this year. Do you set certain goals or expectations for yourself, or what do you want to accomplish this season? Uh, yes, actually, I, I, I always, I always set goals because w- without them, you don't really, you don't really have nothing to to um, to judge yourself on. I feel like my one of my goals is um, I want to have at least at least a thousand yards. That's that's a big goal for me. Um, I want to finish. I say I want to finish the season with maybe, maybe twenty knockdowns as far as blocks, because blocks is big for me. Hmm. And and now you guys are getting ready for your home opener. What do you expect the atmosphere in the Alamo Dome to be like? Uh, I expect it to be to be packed. I know, I know. Um, San Antonio, we don't have a pro team, so everybody's attracted to us. And I know that it's COVID and. We, we may only have max, I want to say, 50% capacity, but uh, even if it's less than that, the Alamo Dome is pretty big, and I feel like it can be, it can be a, a great atmosphere. And, and we're getting ready to talk to one of your teammates, uh, Brennan Dingle, here in a bit. What has he brought to your wide receiver room coming in this year? Well, I'll say for one, experience. Um, his experience has led him to, to, to be smart. Um, everything he's, he's experienced, he's brought – 
brought here with us and has talked to the younger guys, including me. Um, even if I have questions, he's one of the guys that I'll go to that if I need help on some, he's the first one I go to. Is there anything in particular that you've asked him about or that he's been able to help you with? Um, yeah, it's, it's, but it's more detailed, so I can't really say anything. Okay. I mean, you could try. I mean, I could figure it out. <laughs> uh, maybe. Okay. So <laughs> let's say, um, one-on-ones, if, if I feel like I didn't do something good enough as far as stacking him, I didn't use my hands well enough. I'll be like, Brendan, did you see me? Did you see me do this? Did I do this? Or what could I fix? And he'll, he'll enlighten me on, okay, well, you didn't use hand. You didn't club chop him to stack him. Right, right. Is it weird to have a guy come in new to the team and sort of take that leadership role right away? Or how was that, how was that adjustment like for your wide receiver room? Um, I'm not going to say weird. I, I would say new, of course. Um, you just, you just got to adjust. He's a teammate now, so shoot play football. Is there a process for him like earning that respect or when do you realize that he's the guy that you can look to? I say earn it because honestly in the summer is when I realized that he was going to be big. Um, in the summer, I, I just watched him, just sat back, watched and saw his work ethic, uh, his personality. He's a good dude. Um, I just knew he was going to come in and work and do the right thing.